Hello Capricorn! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison if you're new. I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome and welcome back everyone. Um, we're heading into Thanksgiving now and so that's what I am set up here for. I don't know if you can see but I got my little gnomes out here. I just love this whole autumn setup that I do each year. Um, because of the, you know, the colors uh, that are very autumnal with this deck, I'm going to be using the Labyrinth deck that my sister got me for my birthday. And I love it so much. I love Labyrinth. Also, uh, because of the abundance of Thanksgiving, you know, the cornucopia, you know, the harvest and stuff, um, I'm going to be using the Tea Leaf Fortune cards. I get so many cards when I use this deck that it's abundant. Um, also, I'll be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, and uh, something else that I'm doing this week, I'm going to be using an oracle that um, resonates with the same energy as your element. So, your Earth. So, I'm using the Earth Magic deck for the Earth signs this week, okay? So, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Just so you all know, I'm really only on three social media platforms. Here on YouTube, I post these videos on my personal Facebook wall, and I do short summaries of these readings and upload those to TikTok. So if you're here from TikTok, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. For those of you who are here on YouTube and you're not on TikTok, you might want to give it a chance. Check it out. Go over there, sign up. Um, the, the summaries are great uh, if you don't have time for your full reading, but I also do recommend you watch them both. Sometimes I will get more when I'm doing the summary, and uh, sometimes you want to see the whole thing. If you're here from TikTok, you're like, well, how did she even get to that point? Well, there's a lot more in this reading. So if you're here from TikTok, welcome, 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 and uh, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I feel like that's not... That's not gonna, yeah, I have to do this one more time. Anyway, I just hit 1,200 subscribers here on YouTube last, uh, week before last, and I'm just really happy about that. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Uh, everybody who's here subscribed or not. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, I do offer those for purchase. You can message me on Messenger or send me an email at the email address in the description box below. If you would like to give me a tip or donation, I uh, have my PayPal link in the description box below this video as well. All right, so let's see what is going on with Capricorn this bi-weekly reading. What's going on? Capricorn. Okay. Two of Wands in the reverse. There's a really hard decision that you haven't made or you don't want to make. The Emperor in the reverse. You're dealing with a toxic masculine energy. That one doesn't want to be red yet. Three more cards, please. Is this three cards? It is four. Let's see what we got here. So we got <clears throat> the two of wands in the reverse. That's the very really difficult decision uh, where you have to choose between your comfort zone and going out in the world. You have not made a decision that will lead to justice, possibly a Libra, 
it could be for some of you, you're thinking about suing someone. Okay. Maybe you are not a litigious person and you really don't want to open a case to file a case against someone. Also, justice is all about beginnings and endings. Okay. So you may be wondering what to do about something that is about to begin or end. I think that we want an end, or you rather, want an end to this toxic masculine energy um, that's hanging over this Queen of Wands. And I just kind of feel that this Queen of Wands is you. The Queen of Wands is very powerful, very energetic, very beautiful. She looks good. She smells good. She's magnetic. Um, she has all the energy that she needs to do what she wants to do. Everybody is so attracted to her. They love her. Um, I haven't really known a Capricorn who isn't like that. Very magnetic. Okay? But this toxic masculine is... I feel like he's like he's squashing you a little bit. Whether this is an actual person, then this could be an Aries, okay? But it doesn't have to be. Whether this is an actual person or not, this toxic, toxic masculine energy feels like it's suppressing yours or trying to overshadow yours is what I'm feeling. Sorry about the dog barking. She's just a happy pooch. Okay, so... What we have here now is the Four of Wands. So this is the 1111 card. This is happy and harmonious home energy, okay? But it's right above this uh, Ten of Swords, the Ten of Feathers. And the Ten is in the reverse. Now, when the ten, ten of Swords is in the reverse, that's when all the backstabbing is over completely. Every Ten is an ending, so this would be the end of the backstabbing that went on for a long time, whether it's 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 years or even 20. You want harmony, a harmonious home, because you have not had that for a long time. Now, your extra card over here is cups. So this is the seven of cups. So it's like you have a lot of choices. You're maybe a little bit confused, okay? How do you get your feel-good energy back? That's what water is. It's emotion. It's love. And wands are passion, which is what is representing you right now. So what I feel like this is all about, what feel-good energy are you going to choose? Like, say, if you are thinking of... Um, filing a case against this toxic masculine, is that going to make you feel good? Is it going to um, have like, is it going to um, reach other situations in your life? You see how this cup is attached to these two others. It's like, are there um, adjacent opportunities, uh, adjacent, yeah, adjacent opportunities. That's from the energy deck. That's why it's so hard for you to choose. But here, here's the, the bottom of it, okay? At, the, at the, the underlying energy of this whole thing is the Queen of Feathers energy. And the Queen of Feathers is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords, especially when she's upright, she's the kind of person who learns from her mistakes. She becomes a better person for it, not bitter better not bitter and they keep showing me this I knew there was one look at there she is she's on my table this might have something to do with you this fairy has leaves for wings okay I feel like for some of you you're looking at this right now going whoa what because maybe you've been seeing this, but that is a double message for someone. Yeah, you're going to be better when it comes to this, not bitter. 
It's this emperor who's bitter. We know that we don't need that kind of energy, right? We don't need bitter energy. Capricorns don't like to be, you know, bitter. You want to have fun. You want to have your home life, right? You want to be happy. You don't want to deal with endless years of backstabbing and suffering. strength bottom of the deck the wisdom deck you're strong enough to handle this you got this you can hold the whole world up with oh have compassion for this this emperor that's what's going to give you strength that's you guys compassion is strength There's a lot of people out there that might not feel that way. But this is obviously the same naked girl. Okay, because the other one that you got here is celebration. And I was just talking about, you know, Capricorns, you guys don't want to be in this energy. You want to have fun. I know this. I, I had significant relationships with two Capricorns in my life. You guys want to celebrate. You want to have fun. Just make sure that you're not doing too much celebration. But when it comes to this toxic masculine energy, having compassion for this person is strength. People will think compassion, oh, you're a bleeding heart. Um, there's nothing wrong with having compassion for others. It makes you a stronger person. Now we're going to go ahead and ask the Earth Magic deck what your element wants to tell you what does the earth want to tell you about this situation so we've got two queens here but i think that these the queen of poles and the queen of feathers are just two different ways to describe you you want balance you want justice you want things to be right you want people to come to you correct you want people to leave your life who can't come to you correct. You want to rule with compassion and kindness and wisdom. Innocence. Childhood innocence. Okay? I feel like this is your... Okay, the earth is telling you and your, your ancestors. And that makes perfect sense because of the earth element. This is your ancestors are saying, remember the innocence of your childhood. Remember some of the brightest points in your life. Remember what it was like to be a child and looking at the world through those eyes of wonder. Okay, and if you never were there, they want you to feel that. They want you to find that somehow. Oh, and, okay, for those of you that want to um, file a lawsuit against this person, you or, or someone may be innocent, okay? Now, if this person is doing something really bad against you and you're innocent, I think that this is kind of saying you should stand up for yourself. If you're innocent, you should stand up for yourself and end all this backstabbing, okay? However, for some of you, if you want to file this lawsuit but you are not sure, there is a possibility that this person is innocent. So just do your due diligence before you, you file anything. 
Yeah, there's your DNA right there because it's going to be bad karma. Then we got dance, celebration. We got celebration twice here. And volatility, volcano, which is the wake-up call. All right, that's enough from the earth. The earth is talking a lot here. But yeah, you got celebration twice. Look at how this woman has her hands up. These are the similarities uh, that my gift shows me. She's looking up. She's looking up. Her arms are up. She's celebrating. Okay. This is a feminine energy. You're dealing with a toxic masculine. We're talking about childhood innocence and celebration and dancing. This is what they want you to do. This is what the earth and your ancestors are saying that's going to help with this karma that was passed down from them. Basically, your ancestors are apologizing for you inheriting this toxic masculine trait. Oh my God. For most of you, that's what this is. This toxic masculine isn't a person. It's a part of yourself that was passed down. And what is it? It's volatility. It's anger. It's losing your temper. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a wake-up call. All right, so we're going to get the uh, tea leaf oracle going here. Um, it's a it's a really large deck, so I I deal it in two piles. See, because they just jump out like fishes. A lot of them. Yeah, there's one right there. There's one side. Oh, yay, it didn't land in the fire. Uh oh. And we got the frying pan came out. From the frying pan into the fire, I just heard. Huh. See? The frying pan, trouble, accusations, jumping from the fire pan into the fire. If you are not sure if there's a person that has done something against you, do your due diligence, do your research, find out. Don't accuse people. Let me tell you something. Filing a case is very expensive, I know. Um... So before you go accusing anybody of anything and dragging them into court, you really need to be very sure that you have a case because um, at the very least, you will lose uh, at least several hundred dollars to a few thousand on a case that never went anywhere with your attorney's fees and your court fees and stuff like that. Um, but if you go to court and you, uh, you sue somebody and they're innocent, there's always that chance that they will uh, sue you, you know, for defamation, for, you know, hey, this, for slander. So be very careful um, what you, when you try to go see an attorney, okay? This isn't legal advice or anything, too. This is a disclaimer I'm saying. And everybody knows that if you accuse somebody of something and that's not true, that they may be able to sue you. So just, I'm really getting that that message, okay? But for a lot of you, what this is, is that this is a toxic trait. So maybe before you go accusing uh, your grandfather or your father or somebody, maybe this queen of poles is your mom or it could be your sister or, or somebody else and this toxic energy is what was passed down to you from your ancestors. However this speaks to you, be sure, okay? Spiritual love, Lily, okay? So there's something to do with love here. Grapes, time to go out and have fun, okay? So there's that celebration energy again. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So a caterpillar usually becomes a butterfly, 
Okay, so I feel like when, if you can get this volatility out of your DNA, yeah, you'll be a butterfly. Things will definitely change. Okay, so there's, I'm going to put it there on the decision making card there. Horse, a short journey. Okay, so you may go on a short journey. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Okay, so don't stop. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. Yeah, um, yeah, whether it's an actual person or you're a trait from your ancestors, it, you, you could be working against yourself. A two-faced friend. We do have two queens here. So what I'm getting now is I really am hoping that you're not dealing with a friend who is trying to get with your masculine who is being a, a toxic masculine because of that now. Um, yeah, I would understand that, but um, still. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Um, I feel like, the, you know, when I saw this card, I was just thinking, someone's pointing the finger. Who's pointing the finger? Because whoever they are, they know more. I'm going to put it here with this fair man here. Wield, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Okay, so here, here we have this decision card here that's upside down. You have not made the decision to get out of your comfort zone. Whether this is connected to this, well, it is. The beginnings and endings, you, you know, this justice card, beginnings and endings. Make that decision. Get out into the world. Um, bear, danger, especially in money matters. I don't know where we just put that right there, I guess. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Okay, so Virgo, I just did Virgo, and um, Virgo had the forest card, and they were told to go and breathe out into the forest. Now, breathing and thinking are both air element um, traits. So I feel like you're kind of getting uh, the same type of message with this card. Find some trees, go out to these trees, spend some time outside and just breathe. Okay. And this will clear your thoughts. This will clear your head and the way you're thinking. Two-faced friend. All right. So I think that, you know, when times get really hard, you're being told, look, just Take life a little bit more easy, okay? Um, where is this? The childhood innocence, the celebration, the grapes, time to go out and have fun. Um, I think that that saying, look, when things get heavy in life, go out and have some fun. You know, just take a break, go have fun. Um, and then your life isn't all about this dark stuff. Okay. You, um, I was watching Harry Potter last night and what was, there was a line in it. I forgot which character said it, but, um, there's, oh, it was Dumbledore. He says that it, it, you know, even in the darkest of times, there is light. If you just remember to turn it on. Okay, so if you're going through like really hard times, there's always a, a, an opportunity to find joy in something. Like, you know, you, you're working hard, you don't have any time or something, you could find joy and be grateful for laying down in your bed at night. Oh, my bed is very comfortable, I'm about to get some rest. You can find joy and things like that in anything in your life. Okay, so I feel like you're being asked to not just be grateful, but also celebrate all the wonderful things that you have. This distracts you from the crap that you're going through and this balances you out. That's what justice is. It's the scales. It's, it's Libra. It will balance you out. Okay. To, um, to, to just lighten up a little bit. 
because this volatility usually comes from frustration and bottled up, um, you know, being cooped up, being stuck in a dark energy for too long. After a while, you just go, ah, that's it. So you got to blow off steam other ways by just taking some time off and going and, and celebrating or acting silly, spending time with friends, things like that. Just lighten up a little bit and uh, make that decision because this, this is stuff that the Queen of Swords knows. She knows how to stay balanced. She is Libra energy. She is, um, when she goes through bad times, she knows that that, that that is a good time to set up a celebration when she's going through bad times. See what I'm saying? All right, that's what I have for you at this time, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.